Today, we are going to talk about skin type and skin condition. People mix those things together, but it's not the same and it's important for you to know which one is which one. So let's get into it. What's up beautiful people? Welcome to my channel. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for being here with me. So my name is Ese and on this channel we talk about beauty, we talk about health, we talk about skincare, uh, we talk about appearance and the goal is to help you to enhance your natural beauty. Uh, if you are just seeing my face for the first time, you're very welcome. Uh, thank you so much for being here. And uh, if you like what you've seen so far, subscribe to the channel. That way you get to see every of our videos anytime it's out. Thank you. Uh, if you are if you have been here with us before, it's always a pleasure to see you. Uh, thank you also for being here. And uh, today we are going to talk about skin type and skin condition. Uh, many times people really uh, people mix those things together, but it's not the same. And it's important for you to know which one is which one. So let's get into it. So first of all, we want to talk about skin type. And uh, skin type is the skin uh, with which you're born with, the characteristics that your own skin has. And we have three uh, different skin types. Uh, we have uh, dry skin, we have oily skin, and we have uh, normal skin. Some people have two different skin types in different places of their face or on their body. So that's what we call combination skin so uh which make it like four skin type if we can say it like that but combination skin is more of a mix and you need to know which one do you have where do you have it to be able to address your skin in the right way so uh let us talk about how do you know which skin do you have uh to know your skin type you just need to uh wash your face with a very mild soap and uh, you wait for a while around 15 minutes and you see how your skin begins to react if there is a lot of sebum production then you know that your skin is oily um, another characteristic of, of uh, oily skin is that the pores are very big you can basically see your pores uh, you can see their size you can you can see them very well on your face so then you know that you have uh, oily skin uh, if after doing that, you, you, you can see that your skin feels really dry, your face uh, feel a bit stressed, then you know that you have dry skin. And uh, another characteristic of dry skin is that uh, the pores are very, very small. You cannot or barely see a pore on a, on a dry skin. So that way you know that your skin is dry. Um, if uh, after doing that you see that your skin uh, is not also too oily it's not also too dry then you are on the normal skin uh, you are a normal skin type uh, another way to find out your skin type is uh, again wash your face is with a very mild soap or even with water and wait uh, 15 minutes so you need paper take that paper anyway and then place it on a different uh, places of your face you can just make a little squares of paper and place it on the different uh, places of your face after that you uh, you wait a little bit and then you remove it so you see how oily is that paper can you can you clearly see a lot of oil and where is that oil uh, then you know that your skin is oily if like I said before, you cannot see any oil and the paper feels really dry, then your skin is dry. If uh, it's more like middle, you can see a little bit of oil but nothing too serious, then you have um, dry skin. So it's very important to know what's your skin type. And like I was saying before, your skin type doesn't really change. Uh, you're born with this and it's actually even genetic you know is is that's the skin you're born with and when you grow older you will still not change you still have the skin the same skin type but what about skin condition uh now skin condition is a little bit more complicated than just skin type 
The skin condition is the condition in, in which your skin is at the moment. And it varies a lot depending to so many things. Two factors that affect your skin condition is uh, internal factor and external factor. Let us first of all talk about the internal factor. Um, the internal factor of your skin condition will be your age, uh, pregnancy, uh, stress level, uh, your health, your health, uh, your health condition, your lifestyle, your lifestyle, and those all those things will actually affect your skin condition. The external thing that affects your skin condition is um, is the weather. Are you living in Africa? Are you in Europe? Where in Europe do you live? Is it in Finland? Is it where? Uh, more the weather, uh, the weather is dry, more your skin feels dry. But it doesn't mean you have dry skin, mind me. And we are going to talk more about that. So those are the external factors that will actually affect your skin condition. And mind me, your skin condition changes from time to time, from condition to to condition uh, we have several skin condition and I will talk about five or four today so the first skin condition I want to talk about deshydrated skin condition uh, deshydrated skin condition is a skin that is lacking water not oil the skin is lacking water and mind me there's a difference between those two hydrated skin it doesn't mean dry skin type no if you live, for example, in a very dry place like in Finland, where we are right now, uh, you realize that your skin is feels dry. But it doesn't mean your skin type has turned to dry. It's just the weather, it's just the condition that makes your skin feel uh, dry. And that's what we call deshydrated skin. And in this kind of condition, you need to really hydrate your skin. And not with oil, but with, uh, with a lotion, with cream, with uh, mix, uh, with toner and things like that, with serum, and I mean water. Anything that is water will help you in the case of dehydrated skin. And also drinking water is very important to fight dehydrated skin. And remember, like I said, it is not a dry skin, but is dehydrated skin. Yeah, so that's the first skin condition. Now, the second skin uh, condition that we'll talk about is hyperpigmented skin. Now, nobody bonds with uh, hyperpigmented skin unless you have a birthmark, which is normal, and usually it doesn't clear away. That's not what we're talking about. But anything like dark spots, post-inflammatory spots, uh, pregnancy, dark spots, uh, melasma, anything like that is hyperpigmentation. And usually it might be caused by the sun, may, uh, by your hormone, by so many, many, many things. So that's also another skin condition. The, the third skin condition I want to talk about is acne prone skin. Uh, usually when you ask people that what's your skin type they will say acne prone skin no that's not your skin type uh, mind me at some periods even dry skin can have acne prone skin yes it's possible but usually it's people that are like uh, oily skin that actually have acne prone skin condition but it doesn't mean it's the same thing so when you are uh, your skin is acne prone um, skin then your you break out a lot your your anything can clog your pores uh, your pores are big and you know they are really sensitive so many things can actually happen when you are acne prone skin and people like that they they are they use they need to be very careful with which product they use which makeup with cleanser everything they need to be very careful but that's not the subject of today anyway um so the the fourth right is it fourth yeah i think fourth a skin type uh, skin condition we want to talk about is aging skin and of course aging skin is not a skin type right so uh, aging skin is just uh, when you're getting older your skin uh, begin to be wrinkled your skin begin to be darker and so many things but mind me you can fight uh 
aging skin by taking care of your skin as early as possible when you are 20 20 25 30 you should already in a preventive mode start taking care of your skin like use retinol use vitamin e use vitamin c you know keep the skin healthy keep it healthy a healthy skin will age as slow as possible that's just simple and also another thing to fight aging skin is to use a sunscreen because we know that it's sun that actually ages skin most that was it aging skin uh acne prone skin hyperpigmented skin uh deshydrated skin those are the first skin condition that we spoke about today those you can fight them you can correct them you can you can use products you can you can you can use things to make them good and to make them go away some people are at ag they look 30. what do they do they have a good skincare regimen they take care of the skin they have a good lifestyle they eat healthy they they go out they drink water let us just round up the whole thing like this skin type you can't change it you can't do anything if you have dry skin you'll probably die uh, with your dry skin if you have oily skin you remain like that but if your skin is dehydrated hyperpigmented acne prone stressed and anything like that is a skin condition which you can fight which you can do something about so um those are the things that you need to know before you even even start thinking about having a skincare regimen first of all you need to find your skin type find your skin type uh from all those skin type that i spoke about oily dry normal combination skin which one do you have after that you need to find your skin condition uh, your skin condition is your skin hyperpigmented is your skin dehydrated is your skin uh, acne prone skin is your skin stress is it like ages aging skin which one which one that way uh, you'll be able to address that uh, that concern at that moment so that your skin can move on um, some people that has normal skin when they are pregnant they have a lot of hyperpigmentation that is due to hormone internal hormone stress everything that you go through when you are usually pregnant so uh something like that it can be you can you can fight it you can take care of it you can do your best you know to gain back your skin and uh mind me skin condition keep changing in the winter time you might have uh, dehydrated skin, but in the summer time, your skin is also okay. For example, that's just an example. Uh, maybe when you were 40, uh, you, your skin was like acne prone skin, but by the time you take care of it and you are 50, your skin is, uh, is not acne prone skin again. Now, every oily skin is not acne prone skin, like I was saying, and that's those are the different. So, ladies, beautiful people, I hope you are able to understand the difference between those two things. And before you want to choose your product, please, it's important to know all those things. Uh, this will be the end of this video. If you like it, you can like, you can share with your friend, uh, you can leave me nice comment, or even if you don't like it, let me know in the comment what is it that you didn't like about the video. But anyway, I really enjoy doing this video for you. I hope you enjoy watching it. And uh, thank you so much for the time you spent with me. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye, beautiful.